statement from Baptist Club. Come on up. Yeah! 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 The radiator's leaking, and it's a Volkswagen Jetta. And in order to change the radiator, take a look at what we need to do to get to the radiator. We need to take off the whole front end, and uh, we've got the radiator out now. There's part of the front end. There's the radiator out there in the driveway that uh, we're going to replace. We're going to go pick up a new one. And uh, just thought I'd show you how much work it is, and hopefully we can remember how to put the front end back together once we get the new radiator. Now we have just picked up the new radiator, and uh, there's some pieces that need to be transferred from the old radiator to the new radiator. And the new radiator will mount to that fan shroud and to this condenser that's for the air conditioner. So here we're taking uh, some of the pieces off of the old radiator. There's these hose connectors, the wire clip that holds those on, and then those will pull off. It took a little work, but we we're finally able to get those pulled out. And there's a center plug there also, right there. And we got them on the new radiator. And now the new radiator we've got assembled back into the fan housing. And got this cross member at the front end here that has a housing that locates the radiator. There's the other side there. We got those two screws in. And you can see it's still loose. Uh, we'll get this radiator mounted up in here. There's some screw holes there. And you can see we've got it all located and mounted. There's a screw there. There are torques. There's a screw there. And we got a couple of screws on the other side. Let me go ahead and show you. There's one there and one there. So the radiator's all mounted to this center cross member. And there's a center piece that mounts in there that holds the hood latch. But it'll mount onto this bumper. We're going to go ahead and get the front bumper mounted to the frame here. That's the red part of the car is the frame. And get the holes lined up. We got the first bolt in there and the second bolt mounted into the frame or started into the frame. And we get these other two here started and we'll tighten them up here in a bit. But this piece of foam will go in front of the bumper there. Goes between the bumper and that front end. So we'll go ahead and finish getting the center piece mounted. It ties in the bumper and the cross member housing uh, and the lock latch all kind of ties that all in. There's three bolts up top here and you can see they have the paint on there that shows that they've been messed with. And then there's two down here that mount it to the bumper. So I'll get those screws in there and tightened up. And then we can go ahead and slide the lights in to their housing area. And there's a plug here on the back for those. We've got the screws here and we'll get the other light in on the other side. And We'll just get the screw started, but we want to make sure the plug-in back here is going to snap in okay for us. Sometimes those can be a tight fit. Go ahead and clip up the latch cable that's for the hood latch. And tighten up the lights. And we got the cover on in the front now. And there's a peg that needs to line up. That white peg there, you can kind of see it. That lines everything up and it snaps into position. Now there's some screws that hold this on right here and there. And you can see this side has already got the peg lined up and pushed in there. Uh, there's a center piece that needs to go on. And there is the uh, wheel well spatter guards that go up inside the wheel wells. Those will mount in there and the wheels will need to go on. But other than that, we've got some quality imported auto uh, antifreeze or coolant. Going ahead and connecting up the hood latch lever, the lever release here. And tightening up, well, snapping in the front grill. 
there's a couple of screws right there at the front that'll need to finish tightening that in and you can see the hood latch works and that pretty much wraps it up so remember do something nice for someone today love you